Lifestyles. I am here with some of our ladies from uh, Fave Lifestyles and another networking group called Breakthrough Alliance. I have Erica Hardwick and Kelly Carr here with us today. You know, gals, Fave Lifestyles, we are branching out and we are answering questions for women. And somebody asked me just recently about um, selling their home and what's the market like and what. And you know, I realized I have no idea. So I many, understand. So many questions. There's so many women who are in transition. So there's women who are having their parents come back and live with them. Right. They're, totally. Their kids left and now they're coming back. Yep. <laughs> they're, um, maybe they're going through, maybe they've lost a husband or they're going through a divorce. You know what? There's so many questions. So tell the gals. And so first of all, Erica, tell us what you do okay. and why we have you here. Okay. So I'm Erica Hardwick and I am part of Remax Town Center in Mill Creek and I also have a separate business called Northwest Nest as in buy, sell, nest. And the reason that I even got into this business is because I love people. And most importantly, I love the idea that people have an opportunity to make memories. Well, where do you make the most memories? At home. Yeah, so this connects all of those together. Oh, it's so fabulous. And I just want to say one thing too is that one of the reasons I had both of you come is because you two have such great hearts. Every time we are at the Breakthrough Alliance, these two gals are going, what can I do for you? And when it doesn't even benefit them, they are helping us, they're sharing their knowledge and their talents. Gals, I love that. I love that about you, and that's why I want you to share with the gals. So, Kelly, tell us a little bit about you. Absolutely. So, my name is Kelly Carr, and I am a uh, residential mortgage lender with Absolute Mortgage, uh, currently in downtown Bellevue, but soon to relocate also to the Mill Creek Town oh, Center. Okay. So, that happens at the end of the month today. Um, and I got into the mortgage business about 15 years ago. Same thing with Erica. I have a finance background, and it just really wanted to help people own their home and and use it as an asset in their financial portfolio um, create family memories i'm all about um, the family that comes together and has those special moments those human moments and i love being a part of that oh that's great so gals yeah just give us a heart make sure you can hear us because sometimes we're not sure if you can hear us okay <laughs> so if you could just let us know, that'd be awesome. But Erica, tell us what our topic is today. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So why don't you just have you step in just a little bit closer? I would love to. Yeah. Uh, okay. So a couple things. Oh good, they can hear us. <laughs> That's positive. So a couple things. First of all, life happens. I don't know if you've noticed that, but lo and behold, there's stuff that happens every day and it's never when you planned for it. So a perfect example is we are in this home in Queen Anne that is just listed today. I know, and it is. Oh my gosh, Absolutely. it's so stunning. stunning views, views out all the windows. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. four stories tall. It's, it's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And interestingly, the sellers had two major life events that led them to selling this home. One of them was, luckily, one person had started a business, a family business, and it sold, and they were able to buy their dream home. How oh lucky gosh. is that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah no kidding. Well, we all yes, <laughs> exactly. And then the other life event was they became empty nesters. And so they have downsized onto the next step of their life. And as a result, this gorgeous home is available. So when life happens, we have to get a little creative with this asset called your house. And that's exactly what we're doing. This is a perfect time for some people to be selling. What the circumstances are is a variable, <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, so I know that is one question that a lot of people yes. are asking. Is this a bubble? Is it a good time to sell? What, yes. What's the answer? That is a great question. <laughs> so I'm actually going to pass this over to Kelly. I'll, I'll get us started. But this situation that we're in right now where the prices are going up, 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 mm -hmm. up is actually a little different than what we experienced not so very long ago. And mm -hmm. so with that, I'm gonna actually let you address subprime and how this is different. Absolutely, so of course. Take a step up, they said, if that's <laughs> what we got. Yeah. Let's get in here. Yeah. So of course, uh, you know, 10 years ago, 2006 to 2008, we experienced the crash, right? Big housing bubble right. that crashed. There were so many factors that contributed to that. Um, obviously uh, increasing appraised values and there were some loan programs out there that guys we just absolutely should not have been doing mm -hmm. so what we do the pendulum swung back all the way the other way we spent about five years where it was so hard to get a mortgage people are gun shy right Why? values have recovered we're seeing the strongest growth the Seattle market is actually one of the strongest growing markets in the entire country 
A lot of that has to do with just the great industry here, the wide variety of, of jobs that are available, the influx of new mm -hmm. positions coming with Google and Amazon and Facebook and some great companies that are supporting Boeing. Um, just a, it's a great time to buy. Interest rates are still historically low. And the good news is, is that loan programs have stayed very consistent and solid. They're stable. So while we have stable growth in the market and we still have low interest rates, a good economy, nice strong lo mm -hmm. loan programs, people still have to get qualified for a mortgage, we're heading into um, this market and I don't see a bubble. Yeah, can I add one little yeah, thing here? This do. is, welcome back to high school economics. Yeah. That is actually <laughs> what we're experiencing yeah, right exactly. now. Yeah. And that is how it's different, is yep. that this is a situation of supply and demand. Yep. Man, we have a lot of demand. Yep. And about this much supply. Mm -hmm. So there's something called a sell-through rate. And actually right now we are in a, a negative sell-through rate, yep. which means that there are more buyers than there are houses. So we are in a deficit. Yeah. Okay. So tell me just a couple, like three little tips that women should be considering what, if they're even just starting to think about this issue. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So a couple things. First and foremost is you need to get creative. And what exactly is it that you need? Yeah. So really think things through. Like, are you thinking that you need to add a kitchen? and add a second kitchen so that you can have a mother-in-law. The fastest growing segment in our housing right now is actually to add a mother-in-law. And new construction is even doing it because it is such a hot, hot item. So maybe you're in a circumstance where you can take a little equity and add on to your house and add a mother-in-law. You're gonna get the return on that investment. Oh, well, that's great. So, so think guess, about it. Yeah, and you know, a lot of women that are uh, listen to Faith and our, our audience, a lot of them are in that sandwich generation. Totally. We've got kids and we've got maybe parents that are starting to maybe have to move back in. Yes, yeah, in just that particular topic alone, there are so many choices that you could do. You could actually buy a duplex, you could actually, um, add on you could find a house that already currently has a second home you could buy a little house right next to your current house and just be next door neighbors and actually this is a perfect transition because I want Kelly to talk about that you actually don't need to buy a second dwelling for your in-laws you do, or your parents you do not need 20% down anymore. No, absolutely what? not. Yeah, no. Tell me about so, crazy. I have no idea. So, yeah. Such an amazing, there are so many loan programs out there and uh, that's probably the question that I get most often is, we're not ready to buy yet because we don't have 20% down. You absolutely don't need it. There are loan programs now where you can buy a home for your aging parents if they can't qualify for their for their own home and do it as your primary residence. You get the benefits of primary residence financing. Did you hear that? You can yeah. have potentially two <laughs> yeah. primary residences. Exactly. That's kind of how it works. Exactly. Wow. Same wow. thing for um, co-signing for kids. Uh, we we lovingly refer to that as your kitty condo program. <laughs> so all kinds of things that are out there for the life events. The the main thing that we want to make sure women know is that you know as we as we grew up our parents their plan was to stay in their house for 30 40 years right. and pay off the mortgage have a zero mortgage now there's really a lot of opportunity out there to tap into that equity in your home and use that as an asset in your portfolio for all the things that your life uh, unfolds in front of you. Okay, so explain what you mean by that. Because as yes. I'm oh like gosh. a newbie in all this, I don't really understand all the terminology it's, and everything. Yeah, but sure. what, what, just a little bit on that. So there are lots of programs that you can use to access the cash that's sitting in equity in your home okay. right now. Okay, it's it's growing at a rate of appreciation as the market goes up and as your mortgage goes down. You have this. Um, this equity in your house that's sitting there. So why not take some of that out, not all of it, but take some of that out to make the adjustments to your home, to, to buy another home, okay. to use that um, asset in another way that helps further your bigger financial picture and goals. That sounds like a great it's idea. A great, that's it's why really you impressive. need to talk to these gals and you are <laughs> no, thinking, absolutely. even just thinking of doing something because we need to tap into the talents of these wonderful ladies. Yeah, absolutely. And, and actually, one of the quick things that I would love to make sure that you're aware of is that both Kelly and I have some excellent Facebook pages that are riddled with tips. So tips if you are thinking of changing your front yard so it has better curb appeal, all the way to, I think I want to add that second kitchen, yep. as well as all of the mortgage tips that you are looking for, or just finance tips in general. Oh, that's yep. great. Absolutely. Tell the gals where they can, where your Facebook page Yeah, is. absolutely. So I'm at Erica Hardwick, 
Northwest Nest, all one word is how you can find me. Okay. And then also www.nw-nest.com. Fabulous. Thank yep. you. You can reach me at www.kellycar.com, K-E-L-I-C-A-R-R.com, or Washington Home Loans Kelly Car. Fabulous, gals. So just as we wrap up here, next steps. Where Excellent they, question. Any, any, yeah. 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 So gals, if you have any next steps, you can also just go... Um, Track us down. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So next steps. First and foremost, do you actually even currently own a home? Yes or no? That's number one. <laughs> and if not, then let's talk about is that an option, right? Absolutely. So again, you don't have to have 20% down. Let's talk about what some options are. Or if you already own your house, do you know how much it's worth? So that's another thing. Like we better figure out exactly what is the asset that you're sitting on. Yep. Absolutely. And I would say, I would add to that. Um, there are no stupid questions. Ask the question. The thing that I that I hear the most is, oh, I thought that you had to check in with an expert. Yes, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> hearing from the experts, so gals, we are learning all kinds of great things. And uh, Kelly and Erica, thank you for being with us at thank Big Lifestyles. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. We'll see ya.